This is getting called the splash zone. If you don't get enough speed, I just saw a long ass black snake. Oh boy. See man, my bear spray hasn't came in yet. People be wondering why I'm going slow on some of these trails, man. When you don't know these trails, you don't know what's back here. You never been down. You don't know what's around the turn. Hell yeah, I'll be going slow sometimes. See what Mr. Turtle's going to do. I'm not going to bother you, buddy. Well, if I was a turtle, this is where I'd want to be. <clears throat> Gotta remember this part. Oh, look at this turn. Damn. Max, jeez. What does that mean? these fucking turns are, dog. This is fucking crazy. Oh, shit. Yo. I know this camera probably not picking it up, but, uh, these shits are so fucking tight. I can barely squeeze through these damn things. What the... Yeah. Okay, man. Let's do it. Look at this. Look how tight. Man. Shit. YouTube, back with another video, and today I am in Lakeland, Florida at, uh, let me see what the name of this park is. Carter Road Mountain Bike, and this is in, I think this is pronounced Lois Harp Park. Um, I don't know, man. This a, <sighs> was just a quick decision. Uh, went out on a limb and said, hey, let me check out a new trail. This wasn't too far from Orlando, probably about an hour and 15 minutes. So, but of course, when I get out here, it looks like it's getting ready to start pouring down rain. And um, it's not good. I know it's going to rain on me out here. And then not only that, um, I think the park closes at five and I'm pushing it right now. So I'm going to make this intro pretty quick, give you guys a, a hopefully a better um, or a close up view of the trails out here. And uh, yeah, other than that, um, I'll do my review of this trail once I'm done. Okay. See you in a bit.
Damn. Damn, I missed it. I didn't know what's coming up. Excuse me, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> Floating on these things. <laughs> yeah, so far this trail is dope. But uh I'm out here in, uh, seriously in gator country right now, man. Oh, Jesus. Sometimes I just be having those feelings. 
Bad feelings. Whew. Let's get it. Ah, yeah. Damn, should've hit Nefano. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. When they make the next Swamp Thing movie, I know the perfect locations, and I need to be in it. This shit right here is crazy, dog. Yeah, man. I'm getting ready to fall in this water, man. Hold up. I don't know if you can see on this camera, but... This shit is so tight. It is so... What the hell are they doing? Hanging ropes from trees? Yeah. Oh, see? Oh. Oh, yeah.
Ah, yeah. Here we go. No. Whoa. Ah. Shit. Had to jump over. I wasn't going fast enough. This is the coolest trail ever though, man. Alligator Alley. Shit. All right, I'm going down the alligator part of the trail, so I'm proceeding with caution. Oh, hell no, it's not even clear up there. My review for Carter Road Mountain Bike Trail in Bartow, Florida. I said Lakeland earlier. Um, this is actually Bartow, Florida. Um, Lakeland's not far from here though. Or maybe Bartow's the county, I'm not even really sure. It says the address is Bartow, Florida, so I think it is Bartow, Florida. It is in, is it Loisy E. Hart Park? But the name of the trail is Car Carter Road Mountain Bike Trail. And I must say, now you guys know I've been doing this for about a year and a half now. And I have a lot of mountain bike trails um, that I review on this channel. This is by far, and I still gotta hit Santos. And I still gotta um, finish or try to even do half of Alafea. Uh, trail as well sorry guys i'm just taking off this equipment it is i am soaking wet it's hot and it's starting to rain um this by far is the funnest trail that i've been on so far and uh i know um i know a lot of you guys may disagree if you've been here or if you've hit other trails in florida but yeah this is this is by far one of the funnest ones and it just seemed like it was going on and on and on. I don't think I've caught, I didn't realize it was this big. Here's the thing, y'all. When I hit some of these trails, I don't really know much about them. I wake up in the morning, I research which one I wanna kinda hit for the day, and then I go check it out. So a lot of times I don't even do the background work on them. So some I found out were very, very small, like three to five miles, and then some I find out are huge. This one seems huge. And it's very laid out, it's very deep in the woods, and there's some very scary parts to it. It's so many technical parts to it. And then some aren't even that technical. It's just, do you have the balls to actually go out there and do some of those things? 
the camera, first off, let me just say this. Matter of fact, let me just cut the truck off for a minute. Well, I can let it run. I need some air conditioning. Um, let me say this first. The camera doesn't do justice when it comes to drops, inclines, declines. The camera doesn't, and most of you who mountain bike know this, cameras don't do justice. It, it can't show you how high up you are. It doesn't do a good showing you how far you dropped. It, it just doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't justify the actual terrain. So there were some parts to it where I knew I could not get the momentum, momentum to reach those peaks. Now that bike is awesome and, and it, I don't I know just now like I was able to do and go a lot stronger than any of the trail I've been on because of the gears on that bike. Um, the drivetrain on it, I was able to to easily climb up more than ever before on some of the steep inclines. But I'm gonna tell you something. There were some parts where I don't even see how anyone can make it. There were two parts I was I was kind of scared to do and I didn't do because this is my first time on the trail. And if I attempt these two things again, I would have to have someone with me. Um, one was the um, the alligator splash, I think it was called, or the splash zone. First off, that thing was so steep and you didn't have enough room to, to actually ride for a while to get the speed and momentum you needed to go up the incline. Now, it says splash zone and on each side of the wooden ramp, or the wooden incline is water. It's a splash zone with an alligator on the picture of it, right? So meaning if you don't if you don't make it up, you're gonna go down. Basically is, is, is what's gonna happen and you're gonna either fall in the water. That's why it's called the splash zone. If it splashes and you fall in the water, that water is not like to your feet. You're gonna get up to at least knee high deep water to go get your bike if it falls over. Was it really worth trying all of that? Not today. Maybe if I'm with my friends and, you know, hey, it's like, hey, let's just try it. Let's go for it. Let's get a good laugh, get it on camera. But to be out here by yourself for the first time, knowing that your bike could literally, you and your bike could go into the lake, not knowing what's in that lake. And there's a picture of an alligator right there showing splash zone. It says splash zone for a reason. I'm sure a lot of people didn't make that incline. So that's why in that video, in today's video, I did not do it. Maybe at another time, but you know, I, now I know what it is. I can get prepared for it mentally, but to do that on my first try, mm -mm, man, nah, I'm not, I'm not ready to get soaking wet in a in a water and water where it's alligator signs everywhere, and I'm not, yeah, that, that not today. The other thing that I refuse to do is uh, what was it called? The alligator alley? Again, another picture of an alligator. It says alligator alley. So if it's alligator alley, I'm thinking, okay, I've seen a big tortoise out there. I saw a long snake out there today. I'm sure some alligators on this trail. I mean, it's nothing but like, it just looks like alligator country out here, right? But as I'm, as I'm riding my bike to attempt it, the trail goes from a regular bike trail to just grass. It, it's, not even a, it's not even cleared out for you to go. But you can see a very tiny hint of where bikes have ridden on it, but there's no clear path of where to ride. So that lets me know that if I take that path, I am probably will see real live alligators because I'm now in their territory where they're supposed to be and the, the real bike trail that has not been created yet because not enough people really go that way. Another red flag. Yeah, I'm good with that. I'll, I'll check out the alligators next time. I'm not in a rush to see them today. So yeah, I'm good with that one. And then it was one more that I didn't do that was pretty crazy. Um, well, maybe that was it. Maybe those were the, the craziest too. And I'm sure there's other ones because I didn't hit all the trails. There were some that I attempted, but I didn't I didn't make it on because I just didn't have the speed and momentum. momentum. But um, it is what it is. I did the best that I could. I was out there for about an hour and 15 minutes. It's human as I don't know what, I'm tired, so I'm gonna call it a day. But yeah, highly recommend Carter Park outside of Lakeland, Florida. Um, if you can if you can come to this bike trail, it is awesome. It is fun. It's got fast tracks, it's got it's got drops, it's got so many wooden ramps and art and um, technical uh, obstacles on there. Like it's it's a really cool trail. Really, really cool trail. Uh, if I had to rate it out of 10, I'm going to give this one 
this is this is probably so far one of my favorites so i'm gonna in my opinion i'm gonna rate this one a 10 so far so yeah man other than that catch you guys in the next trail you guys be safe have a good week peace